On the cliff's edge at St Loy is a miniature woodland, sculpted by the wind. It was planted to provide shelter for tiny fields of narcissi. They're no longer commercially viable and so have been allowed to go wild. This is one of my favourite places in spring. I love the brilliant colour emerging from the old bracken and always there is the sound of the waves below. I've brought several kinds of Narcissus into the studio to work from. The ones that most interest me at the moment, I think, are the ones with yellow petals and yellow and orange cup. They're just fascinating, elegant creatures. So I'm sorting through all of the fabrics I'm likely to use. All of my fabrics are hand dyed. I've been looking through these fabrics. Do you see some, in some cases, I have dyed fabric so that you have the gradation from intense yellow through to bright orange. And this is on a satin, again on a velvet. And I shall be using both satins and velvets for these flowers. I want them to be brilliantly light reflective so the tonal values will change in changing light. But then, if you look at the back of this, see this papery calyx here? And for that, I've selected some very beautiful silks. And that will have that papery quality. Just considering where to place the final celandines. I love this play on vibrant yellows between the narcissus and the celandines. The artwork I've created shifts and changes its tonal values, just like the landscape at St. Louis. <laughs> 